come now, Udgy! Did you just jump right out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> Hold it! This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen! Chief Gant. What now? You want to make me out to be the bad guy too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined to testify. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. This must be that wrist we were talking about earlier. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. <laughs> ah, so what? You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. Someone? So, what's your excuse, Rido? Huh? Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You don't have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall causing his death? Conclusive evidence for that leaves no room for doubt? Is this true, Mr. Wright? That's why I show that piece of evidence now. Emma's short he made out as the murderer. <laughs> he doesn't have to show the evidence, does he? <laughs> Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. If you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appealing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I'd better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make any wrong decision. Should I present that? Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who the real killed prosecutor Marshall? I think you should show it. Truth should always come out. Just save on the second file. It was going down so far. The fourth one just has to be. Your Honor! I don't have any evidence I can present at this point. What? You lie! Cheap gat. You. You opened my safe. I know you took what was inside. The conclusive evidence. I don't know what you're talking about! Mr. Wright, why don't you just show them? We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest He's area? Supposed to not be able to make a statement. Why? Does it <laughs> right just object at this point? <laughs> Bailiff! It looks like part of. Oh. <laughs> it looks like part of it has been cut for some reason. Your Honor, that was a remarkably good Gant impersonation. I've been working on it for years. So you had this in your safe. What? That means you, the chief of police, have been concealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. 
this is more like he's excited to read the gossip <laughs> magazines about it. He wants to go on Twitter and cancel what you can. <laughs> Impressive! To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, Rhino. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. What do you mean you admit to it all? I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. What would have happened if I did present it now? <laughs> it then occurred to me that I could use the situation as Trelana. Might have just Phoenix said, uh, why can't you do that? It seems like that happens sometimes. It's good. So you really were manipulating her? I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, that when she saw the crime scene, she would ask me for my aid. So, you assisted Miss Sky. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Doc convicted. When I tampered with the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. This was before Lana arrived at the crime scene, mind you. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? <laughs> but why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder the girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? What are you taking me for? A fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of him's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. But if you fabricated all the evidence... What's to say you didn't fabricate the message on the jar, too? Ho ho ho! Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Rido. Cough it up already. I know you have it. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit it then, Chief Gant, that you are were hiding the cloth. You cut off the victim's vest and you're safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being the chief and all. But it's a lot better than being betrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Rido. You should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived! As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine! <laughs> now it's too late to show the evidence now! Besides, even if I did, it just expose that poor girl's fingerprints. Right. Think hard over the circumstances. The circumstances? I'm talking about then and now. There's one major difference between the two. Weren't you waiting for that difference? Hmm? So, Edgeworth figured out my plan. 
Mr. Roy, this is your only chance. Your Honor, I do have this present now. Uh, <laughs> so now they just forced me to choose that one. I can't just have Ray just squirm there in the <laughs> chair until the judge just me. says long as jelly. Just, just throws his gavel at Ray. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut this piece off the victim's vest. Oh, yes. At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather... There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You mean? It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Ho ho ho! You're as slow as the, on the uptake as ever worthy. What? Think about it. Rido had this all the time to present it as evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that? Mr. Roy, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Okay. I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. <laughs> I don't know. I guess tell the truth. <laughs> you must. You must die. What the mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Ho 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 ho! You're really something, Rido. You knew this girl did it all along. And you still tried to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. I told you, you monster! Why'd you push me over? Loser! This guy! <laughs> you know her fingerprints were on there all along, and yet you... You acted like she really didn't. Miss Guy, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial's not over yet. Ha! Huh, I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. You purposefully concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy! What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Aren't you gonna tell us how it feels? 
how it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what is that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Dan, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was in the sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real murderer is. Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth, what could it possibly contradict? Chief Dent, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. Do you actually know what it is? <laughs> Wouldn't there be blood on it? I don't know if that's a contradiction, but wouldn't there be blood on it? Because <laughs> the blood's all the way under his shirt where it was supposed to be cut off. And it's on the vest directly above it. Just worth a shot. And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Guy took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of cloth of his vest was cut out. Yes, his shirt is showing underneath. A very nice shirt. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth. Wait. There's no blood on it. Ah! <laughs> Since Emma Stye's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved Prosecutor Marshall aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on a sword at that time. N no, this is nonsense. Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me who could have it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Lana Sky picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armored sword? <laughs> then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. A jar that they then broke on purpose to leave behind a clue. And make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? The only person that you personally cut this bloodless piece of cloth from his vest? Ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, you proved that you were the actual murderer. No! It's finally all over. Ha! Ha! <laughs>
<laughs> that was close, Rhino! You almost had me! Uh, sorry, but you'll have to do better than that! I refute your allegations! What do you mean, refute his allegations? You, you see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence! Order! Order! What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect! R remember Aji? Early. Earlier, oh, right over here concealed that piece of cloth! So then, what's your excuse, Rhino? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Team should have always been black and white. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse your evidence, or to present evidence. At that moment, the piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence! Well, it's not fear. Oh, 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 oh! Did you actually think you, you, you could best me in court? It looks like the laughs laughs on you, son. I'm afraid, Mr. Grant's. Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? True. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? It seems, at last, Time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived! Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposefully and illegally concealed this piece of cloth? I admit I refused to present evidence at one point. Ah! So the evidence is illegal! No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Aww. It's not that I didn't present the evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean, couldn't? There are certain procedures involved in when presenting evidence. No, Aji. No, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You, you, you can't really believe... There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well, let's settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. You can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law! What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on the piece of cloth. However, at the point of in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. Second rule of evidence law. <laughs> rule number one. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence inside your safe. Goes without saying, I did have not I did not have <laughs> approval of the police department. Rule two. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance. 
between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Uh... Sorry, but can you recall when was this picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No! He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. <laughs> you yourself confessed to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime... The flashback to ten minutes ago. <laughs> you personally cut this piece of... <coughs> piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes! No! It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, Chief of Police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the only one who stood in before Prosecutor Marshall in this final moment. In other words, the real murderer, there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gant, the killer, was you! I shouldn't, or I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star. Then convinced Bruce Goodman. D -d -d Goodman? Yeah, that's right. The evidence is <laughs> I lose my own chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he decided to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? <laughs> I'm not going to any twice. <laughs> we can't transfer the evidence out. There's too many questions left unanswered. <laughs> <laughs> the most cowboy of them all. He, he opened his evidence locker. He's taking the evidence out, he said. It's not too late. I'm going to hand all this over to Marshall! Well, to be honest, I was a bit taken back by his words. I had a bad feeling when he came to see me, but I never thought he'd bring up SL9! That's when I saw it. That accursed knife! I couldn't just pull it out. Doing so would have only led to more blood, making it near impossible to hide your crime. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I hurried to wipe it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my fatal mistake. 
the bloody handprint on Detective Good. On Detective Gumshoe's locker. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of any other way to move the body. I broke your trunk, but what's the big deal? You make a lot more than us detectives ever will. Leaving the prosecu prosecution's car aside, how? How could you get Miss Guy involved in all this? It's an expensive car. Oh, well, she had so much to lose, as I did, if the truth came out. I just had a new paint job. <clears throat> so, you took evidence from Detective Goodman's locker? I felt so bad for having to do it. I also didn't have the time to pick and choose what to take. So, you left the jar fragments in the glove. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. Wait, so why did Jake Marshall just step over that stuff? <laughs> just not even pay att any attention to it. <laughs> They all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. Why do you stand in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. But one day you'll understand. Oh, believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you try to go it alone. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Udgy. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch. Sorry, old friend. I don't want the lunch plan, but I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. Remember the last episode? Clearly not. memory is getting bad. <laughs> I knew you used to be long ago. Oh, I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator and an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. <laughs> Those days are gone now, Audrey. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Now you have Rido here. And Worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. In fact, I can hear them already. The melodious sounds of something. <laughs> <laughs> Epic final words. <laughs> there are two things I want you to understand. Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. <laughs> when he pushed her over again, did she fall unconscious? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Explaining all this. You see, Miss Guy, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years, from the time I had Gant to help me forge the evidence, up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my. What high standards you have for a rookie. 
I can see why me thought so highly of you. Who knows, a few years from now, you just might make it to the top. But I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Sky. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. <clears throat> it was nothing. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And that you rose above it all and guided Mr. Egg to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. S stop it! I only did my job. In light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. Miss Sky. Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent of murder. However, although the Chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, sir. I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of the heavy chains. Well, this trial's gone on far too long already. Regarding the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, not guilty. Woo! <laughs> Yahoo! That is all. This court is adjourned. I'm gonna go eat some steak now. You mean gum some snake steak? <laughs> February 25th, 5.03 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. At long last, it's finally over. Emma? Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook. But at least she wasn't convicted of murder. She didn't commit. No, that's not it. I'm glad she's in jail. <laughs> Just now, after the trial ended. I can see why me, a fair, thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. It's kind of messed up that she didn't... She said she didn't thank Emma. Yeah, but she didn't even say anything to the judge either. The judge has to put up with all this crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did my best too. But the Lana didn't even say a word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Wait, Detective Gumshoe! What is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective runner all around while on duty? To top it all off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Why does it keep repeating that so much? <laughs> this case. It's a running gag. It's funny. Hey, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? Nope. Not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Lana! Should you be doing this? 
she's still under arrest, you know. Well, I won't tell if you won't. What about those two security guards? They're clearly got their eyes covered by their hats. <laughs> they nap standing up. <laughs> yeah, they just nap standing up. M, I owe you apologies. It's okay, sister. Don't worry about it. That day, two years ago. Huh? It was the very first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Why didn't you just open the window and jump out and they would have been free from guilt? They'd also be dead. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. Why did she just... I guess she just panicked, but still. I guess. Why did she, I guess the M of Ace... She could have just took the M of Ace, took Emma, and then ran out. Fled the country. She's the office was like 17 stories up, they said, or something. Okay, but... You Still could have climbed down ledge by ledge. Go leave the room, wake her up, say stop being a baby and sleeping, and then they leave. I don't think that would be the answer to their problem. Yeah, it was pitch black, so they would have been able to sneak out of the building. Yeah. <laughs> Sister. Don't touch the country if you commit murder. <laughs> 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 well, he did Jim it murder. That's what, yeah. I asked again to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. Uh. I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself, but I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I, I was scared, scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. You'd say you hate me again, like you always do. But sis, I do hate you. Regardless, you were only doing it for me. No. I turned my back on you that day. In hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you. Sister. I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Em, I'm so sorry. But sister, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now that you're going to jail. You're happy. Of course. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back. You knew Eve. Oh, Emma. Emma. <laughs> Before she gets to prison. She's just trying to comfort her strange, disturbed sister. <laughs> No one can change the past. The only thing we could do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? <laughs> Nobody's asking. It just isn't doing so. <laughs> it's just pontificating while they're hugging. <laughs> so we can just find a way it. back to our rightful path. <laughs> it is. It's just telling us all the dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is from there that we can move forward to a better tomorrow. <laughs> at, at least that's what I felt watching those two sisters make up. Mr. Wright, Mr. Gumshoe. Me? Thank you both for all you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again, someday. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? Edgeworth? 
stop hiding and come over here. Is he under the couch? Is he behind the plant? <laughs> Where was he hiding? I just came to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Easewith. Right. Well, I'll be going now. Went back behind the plant. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. Hmm? We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. <laughs> no matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't correct my mistakes. Mr. Eastwood. Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. You despise criminals! I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. One day you'll understand. Oh, believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you try to go it alone. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime on my own, I'd need a weapon. It's scary, but I've known that to be true for some time now. But Edgeworth... Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth... Is he saying he wants to become Batman? <laughs> Batman origin story. Yeah, they need to not stop him. Just let him become Batman. <laughs> Don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred von Karm. They were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. You said, in order to fight the crime on my own, I'd need a weapon. That may be true, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. You are working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you are able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right? Right. Uh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. What is this? Po a pop quiz? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wright, I'll show you the little donkey can be. Evidence, huh? Something yeah! <laughs> Something that's <laughs> trash. <laughs> oh, what is something that came there? I just thought maybe the bloody handprint is. Or maybe this would just do it. Need a. Fingerprint thing or something? What about um, <laughs> evidence law? Wasn't there something you had and Edgeworth also had? The list, evidence list. Oh yeah. It's the picture of Jake. Our <coughs> counterattack began with this. You made one half of the evidence list, and I had the other. But you had one half of the evidence list that had the other. Stop accusing me of forgery, right? <laughs> Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Mr. Edgeworth. It's time for me to go. He's coming from Batman. Mr. Edgeworth. If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. 
Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Just gonna go kill someone. Edward! What will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. You can't let what happened kill the prosecutor in you. you or you can't let it help you grow. What? <laughs> you do what I'm saying, right? In the end, it's up to you. I know. It screams in its face. <laughs> it seems I owe you my things too, right? In the end, it's up to you! <laughs> it's a motivational speaker. <laughs> there is no tomorrow! <laughs> but what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Had to bet the baby going too. Okay, I won't visit you. It seems we both have a lot to learn and some catching up to do. No, we don't. Here, this is a little something for you. <gasps> Scientific investigations! It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thank you, sister. Maybe I don't hate you after all. And so, another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. <laughs> Some bitch will murder her. Faith that their lives have only just begun. And as for me, I think it's time I started a new journey of my own. A journey to rediscover myself. Just gonna watch more TV. <laughs> well, don't go tricking off just yet, pal. <laughs> huh? What is it, Detective? Did you like my British accent? There's just a little matter to be resolved about the Chief Prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. What? I thought you said it would be okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her here for 30 minutes. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? We to go detective or the need a wheel sign? Yeah, well, <laughs> you see, Mr. Wright here is the one who will be footing the bill. Uh, uh. What? You think I can afford it with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, Mr. Rui. You're the beast. Why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to stream. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we all go pay it off together? Yeah, it's a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. <laughs> In the world. Oh. <laughs> In. You don't get to see a subjection, I guess. I arranged for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of M. I hope she'll be pleased to study under a top coroner. As for me, this affair has pretty much ended my days at the prosecutor's office. Still, I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate the crimes together with him. As long as she doesn't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the exact same as the thing it said last time? Oh no, I guess they do change. Yikes! I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my underauthorized investigation of the chief's office. If we penalized you any more, it'd be worse than firing you. Yep, that's what they said. Just goes to show, you can't shake me off that easily. Pal. Why don't they just fire him? 
how did it benefit them to keep him hired? Well, I mean, the chief was guilty. Yeah. Yes. So. Who else would bring them coffee? My new mission is to go to the main entrance and take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. My partner's keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them, though. Someday I'm going to make detective. Yes, sir. Then I can be just like Dick Gumshoe. you wondered where the blue badger is, man. <laughs> you didn't need to see any more of the blue badger. Oh, it died. That's sad. That's really sad. They should have made that the next case. The <laughs> investigation of the murder of the blue badger. <laughs> you killed the blue badger. What is it? Can't see I'm having me a showdown with a stink lunch partner? Miss Star managed to sneak one in for me. She's doing well. Well, cowboy, it looks like you did it. You even gave Ma'am Bina back her smile. Could you make sure Billy and the gang get their water? Stink lunch. <laughs> it's a stink lunch. <laughs> stink. It looks like we won't be seeing. Look at my hair. Each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new meal on the menu. The top layer tastes a bit better than they felt, but the bottom layer is sweet victory. Kids seem to dig turn bad theme. It's a hot seller around the same time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. <laughs> Why'd they make her text so fast? Need to do lunch the right way. Oh, it's the right way. I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see what his name was again. Mr. Left. Anyway, he'd been doing some or other for uh, how many years? Well, I've got another trial to get to, so I'd better be. Oh, oh no! I forgot my gravel. I've got to go. He is becoming senile. <laughs> <laughs> like all this memory. <laughs> Why just after each game, he must quit for a long time? Because <laughs> he just hates his job. That's why he's always watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> is that the only time he just pays any ah! Nothing soothes the soul like fresh air. Still, sometimes I do miss hearing you and your objection. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. My coming! <laughs> I've gotta go! <laughs> See you around, Nick! It sounds like she just didn't want to talk to him. <laughs> she just wanted to go. <laughs> she said, oh, finally, he's here, so we're calling. Bye, <laughs> Went all the way there and she just ran off immediately. <laughs> just flew it on his desk again. Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Edgeworth, sir, I brought you your tea, sir. What's going on, sir? Why is your desk so wet, sir? Why'd they use, like, this? It's almost as if they knew that Nate was just gonna cover the entire screen. Thanks for coming to see me off. I keep you alive and getting to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Roy. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little bit sad, but I'll be alright. Whenever I want to see none, 
All I have to do is open this book. I never open it. So, why is she toying to Europe and why is Phoenix toying with her? <laughs> Phoenix is seeing her off to Europe. She's going yeah. to Europe to study to be an investigator. Yeah, she's going to go look at dead bodies. Oh. Why is, I mean, why is Phoenix seeing her off though? Nice to do. <laughs> but to be a friend. He's just a lawyer. She has. <laughs> yeah, but they became friends. I and guess she go. has no other friends. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, she wants to kill everyone, so she doesn't <laughs> make friends. Capcom. They didn't have Phoenix and Edgeworth talk. Nope. That's sad. All Edgeworth left behind was a mysterious letter. Well, and that's the end. Find out what that letter said when we play. What's the second game called? This is wrong. What's the first part of it called? Phoenix, right? 